Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ancient Historia. Now today we're going to be looking at the pyramids because some older images of these things seem to contradict the pyramids of Giza as we know them today. Now this is from National Geographic. It's all three of Giza's famed pyramids and their elaborate burial complexes which were built during uh, 2550 to 2490 BC roughly but that is around the time they suggest that these were built so that's you know 4,000 years ago it's a long time ago now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and have a look at some images of the pyramids drawn for us in the past couple hundred years by people who visited supposedly they say they went there so we're gonna have a look at those images right now so our first image is supposedly from 1668 and it's from a, a book called The Description of Africa. And these are the pyramids. Now it just says Egyptian pyramids up here. So there's no definitive description that claims that these are the pyramids at Giza. But if we take a little look around, we will notice that we have a sphinx down here, which would obviously suggest that these guys were at least emulating the Sphinx found at Giza. And not only do we have this Sphinx here, but we also have what appears to be another large buried Sphinx-like structure, although this does appear to be much more human-like and it almost looks like a buried giant. But obviously we can't see beneath there so we don't actually know what the rest of that looks like some will suggest that is a second sphinx though there is talk of there being a different sphinx it's the greek sphinx which is a lot more female in its appearance but it supposedly has the female head the lion body and then also the wings of a bird so like a griffin like the tartarian griffin but with a woman's head over here we can't see any wings they are possibly wings behind there but I, I'm not 100% there's just lines so I we can zoom in as much as we can go but we can't really work out I would definitely not stake my life on there being wings back there if anything it might just be differently shaded ground like say like shadows around here but I think one of the most important things to look at is obviously the shape of these pyramids because these aren't the same shapes that we're used to seeing, are they, at all? Now, these much more resemble the Nubian pyramids that are found in areas like Moreau in Sudan. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. So I can show you what they look like. But down here, we can actually see what is very clearly an entrance into this smaller pyramid. Notice how tall they are in comparison to the ones we just looked at online and also notice how close these are to the to the river now obviously the real pyramids of Giza are quite a distance away from the Nile which we'd assume this was and obviously the location with all the mountains being so close would again suggest this is not Giza but the fact that we've got sphinxes and pyramids is very interesting that's something we need to talk about this pyramid appears to have some kind of covering thrown over it we look down here I'm not sure if that's part of the stonework but it actually looks like somebody's thrown a cover over this look down here at the bottom what do you guys think to that is this pyramid covered up by some kind of sheet and uh, down here I'm not sure if this is supposed to be inscriptions on this or if it's supposed to be so shiny that it's reflecting this land here. I'm not 100% on that. What do you guys think? But either way, I think we can agree that these do not look like the pyramids at Giza. Now, here on Google, these are the Sudanese pyramids of Moreau, sometimes known as the Nubian pyramids with the design as you can see loads of them down here and these much 
more closely resemble the pyramids that we're seeing described as being uh, Egyptian or supposedly the ones we see in that image prior from the description of Africa. And look, look at these, much more in, uh, in shape with what we've just seen over here. Are these possibly the, uh, the pyramids that we've just seen? But obviously they have these structures as well on the front that we didn't see in our, in our image down here. So perhaps not. Because look at, these have none of these square structures on the front like those. And these are obviously a lot larger. Look at that, the absolute size. And there's no sphinxes around. So where is this from? But we'll move to the next image now where we can have another look at this 1756 production. Apparently it was produced in London and uh, it's the pyramids of Egypt. So we're gonna read that at the bottom. So near non 1000 years before the birth of Christ, each side of the largest pyramid is at the base 682 feet. It rises in height 624 foot and at the top is a square whose sides are each of them 16 foot long and yet composed but of five stones. Wow. So that's quite descriptive for our pyramids of Egypt. Now once again we can see two sphinxes in this image. One of them with the wings as we, we talked about a second ago with the Greek design. The lion's body, the female head and uh, chest surprisingly. And the wings of course. So there are two sphinxes in this. But we also see another buried type structure here on some kind of podium. It looks like the bust of a person on a podium. So what is that? Is that uh, in relation to that buried person we saw in the past image? Because that could be that could be the same thing that they're drawing there, although it looks a lot smaller, doesn't it? Because if we go back to that last image, this thing is quite big. And we obviously see this one out here near the water and this one there. If we look at this, we can't actually see any water in this image. We have the city in the background. Zoom in on. The city in the background here and we have how many pyramids? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight pyramids in this image. All of them have been decapitated. They've had their key stones removed which uh, says a lot because again, if we look at the Nubian pyramids that we just saw, if we go back to here, notice how it looks like these have also been decapitated. Some of them having been rebuilt, but they have been decapitated just like this. Some of them, uh, some of the newer ones seem not to be down there, but all of them have had their tops off. Now let's talk about the sizes of the pyramid. So the first thing is that each side of this largest pyramid is at the base 682 feet. In reality, sides of the largest pyramid at Giza are 756 feet in length. This also claims that the pyramid rises to a height of 624 feet. Whereas in reality, the pyramid at Giza is 455 feet tall. Now obviously, we could put some of this down to ancient measuring techniques. Although the fact that they've assembled these things in the first place would suggest they were quite aware of what they were doing. Whilst the Pyramid of Giza has had its capstone removed, we can't actually find the official data on the, uh, the sides of the square at the top, which obviously this claims to be 16 foot on each side of that square gives it an area of 256 feet squared. So that's what we'd apparently be looking at in terms of size for this capstone of this supposed pyramid. And we'll have a little zoom in over here to let you see these. This is one sphinx and this is our Greek sphinx with the wings looking much more like a griffin, much more female appearance. This one seeming to have some kind of headgear on, whereas this one has flowing hair, possibly some type of 
hat as well. But notice the chests on both of them, they're really trying to make that prominent. But also notice how they're not entirely buried. We know from the Sphinx today, the base of it, nothing like this today. We'll have a couple of looks at pictures of the Sphinx in a second to get our eyes on that. Before we do that, I just want to bring your attention to the layouts here of the Pyramid of Giza. Obviously, everyone's aware of the connection to the Orion star system between the layout that's supposed to line up to Orion's belt. But um, obviously in our image, we're seeing a hell of a lot more pyramids than are displayed here. Now, this is our Great Sphinx. So have a look at that. You can obviously see the headgear on this one. The nose has been smashed off and the body barely resembles a body anymore. If anything, it looks more like steps up a, up a building or something at this point. The legs, much more intact, but obviously they've been, uh, they've been worked on quite a bit. When you see these bits around here, you realize how little it actually resembles what it supposedly does. Up here it does, down here it does, but around here it's just so damaged. So if we go back to our image now, when you see the, uh, the detail put into these, now as an artist, if it didn't look like that, why would you put the extra detail in? I mean, sure, it might be just a fantasy element, or maybe he never even went there and he was just lying. He was using other people's descriptions to draw this stuff. Who knows? But one thing we can be sure of, this very clearly doesn't depict the pyramids of Giza as we know them today. We'll move on to our next image, which comes from this guy called uh, Athanasius Kircher, I think. And this is from his Tower of Babel series. But he has... Uh, the Barbarous Pyramids Silence the Wonders of Memphis up here. And we have a pyramid. Now look at the steps going up all the way so perfectly aligned with the doors down here at the bottom. And even uh, the crypts, the subterranean crypts down here that you can get down into via these, these stairs here. Now Memphis is over there. We know that the Pyramids of Giza are supposed to be right next to Memphis. So this supposedly will be one of the pyramids. You can see how square it is at the top, just like the description of the last one said, but supposedly made of only five stones up there. So five stones making up 256 square feet of area around the top of this pyramid. Now look at the way that it comes down in these tiers, almost like the Aztec pyramids, but even more defined with even more intricate levels. The base and the entrance to these pyramids, again, not something we see. Giza's entrance is uh, 19 floors up. And this is, uh, this is very clearly right on the base, showing easy access on two sides. So presumably all four sides had easy access to this pyramid as well. And you can see people right up here that have climbed to the top. Zoom in on that. Get people at the top here. Heliopolis. And again, the Nihilus flu. So we know that the pyramids of Giza are a few kilometers away from the from the Nile. This does show quite a distance with Memphis being in the distance. Most likely resemble the Giza pyramid. This is probably what it's depicting. It just really doesn't look like the pyramid of Giza that we know, does it? Quickly translate this for you. So this says the oldest surviving pyramids of all antiquity, intact and still intact built by the descendants of the ancient kings of Egypt. Now this just says the cemeteries or uh, dites of the Egyptians. Um, now this gives us a, a much more defined view of some of these structures. We'll start off at the bottom. Underneath this is showing the supposed crypts under the ground here, as you can see. Very interesting stuff. Look at the size of that. Is that supposed to be a coffin? Hope not, because that's a coffin. That looks quite large. But yeah, you can see under here, you've got all these tunnels, these subterranean bits, as we saw before with the stairs going under. And then above are all these super tall pyramids. Look, the inscriptions on the side and stuff with the square bases on some of them. So, and there in the distance, you can see some of them much more bricked. This one's really tall. Some of them tiered. This one's much more tiered. Look at that. 
this really you can see the block work going up and it's you know it's showing some quite a bit of damage up and down here you've got the the Nile again running up here fortunately we don't have the description so uh, possibly I'll have to find that for you because you can see they've got little letters for us to see exactly what this is but I'm gonna guess that that's the Nile and you know they, it doesn't make sense for these to be where they are look at them absolutely ridiculous all these hieroglyphs on the side look at the base of this one's very different to what we know almost looks like the tip of a building that's buried deep underground and this is just the tip perhaps that's all it is just the tip I should stop being childish but yeah look at these hieroglyphs going up this pyramid here and it's quite clearly got a capstone on this you see some of them removed this one has a capstone this one appears to have a capstone again look at the differences in some of the designs this is not the pyramid geezers that we know is it again showing people up here so obviously this one being depicted as the biggest up here and is that matching the height that we saw with the height of the biggest supposedly being 600 odd feet as opposed to the pyramids of Giza today which have a height of 450 or 455 but either way look at this how many do we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pyramids just in our view here Unless I'm missing one. But yeah, looks like 11. And we can't see any Sphinx either, I don't think. Lots of camels about, but maybe maybe I'm overlooking it, but I don't think I can see a Sphinx in this image. But either way, does that look to you like the pyramids of Giza as we know them today? Very interesting, isn't it? Now this final image I can't find an exact date for, but I got it from the... Uh, the British Museum's archives showing the Egyptian pyramids and we can see the inscriptions on some of these so this is again matching the pyramids that we saw before two entrances down here now look how intact these areas look with statues surrounding the pyramids entrances on all sides for people to go in and out of these pyramids and these obelisks look at these obelisks decorated all the way up I don't know how accurate that would have been to the day. We have a griffin here as well. But look, more obelisks and interesting shaped buildings here. With more statues of naked women busts around. And the city in the background. But as you can see, this is, you know, this is supposed to be Egypt. Pyramids of Egypt. Does that look to you? Even one up here. That look to you like the pyramids of Giza that we know? You can see some of our statues here that we kind of expect to see entering our Egyptian stuff. Frost arms. Yeah, but it doesn't look very like Giza today, does it? It looks very different. So what was going on here? Were they just making this stuff up? Were they just nuts? Or did someone go there and see all this stuff and then actually draw it? Because it's very interesting to see the differences compared to how we know Egypt today. Did all the damage to the, the pyramids occur in the past few hundred years? Have we just not been told that we destroyed them and rebuilt them or something? Or Because these areas just don't look at all like the pyramids we've seen today. Very strange. Now we've got one final image to look at. So this is on raremaps.com if you'd like to come and translate the rest of this you can feel free because I'm not going to be doing it we're just going to be having a look at some of the images here that are provided for us so we've got the pyramids from afar four over here three over there and whilst they do look much more like the pyramids today they're still way too narrow I think but we'll get a closer view to have a look now this is the pyramid that you can enter now it seems to have a very shoddy entrance doesn't it if we think about the last image we saw and you think about the brickwork this is looking very very pieced together as opposed to the others looking so neat and tidy and the doors are gone the doors are replaced by what looks like just a hole 
You know, like someone's just blown a hole in it. That's what they're entering. So, is that the view? Now, look at this of the Sphinx. The Sphinx. Look at that. It's all gone. There's no Sphinx there. That, that really doesn't look like our Sphinx today, does it? Look. Look at that. So is that just because it's buried, do you think? Although, looking at how far down that actually goes. Hmm. If, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really look like it does it so is this just been reconstructed then have they just tried to fix this as best they can because it's been destroyed that doesn't look anything like that this is way more detailed i mean it's had its nose lopped off still but nowhere near the same level of damage now this is the uh the pyramid you can climb Get the heights of it again look how tall i mean not as beautifully designed as the others Looking much more shoddy and rough around the edges, but still monumental, quite literally. To think that these again are resembling Nubian pyramids, not the ones we see at Giza. Three principal pyramids here. The three main pyramids. And look at them. They are very Nubian looking, aren't they? Not looking normal at all. Not, well, when I say normal, not looking like the ones at Giza. So, lots of questions to ask there. And lots of questions need answering. So if you've got any answers, please leave them down in the comments below. Other than that, if you'd like to support the channel, you can join the memberships. There's a Patreon, buy me a coffee, all that kind of stuff. Big thank you to the people who already do support the channel. You guys are amazing. Without you, wouldn't be doing this. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about the pyramids and why they don't really look like how they used to. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all on the next episode of Ancient Historia.